Hey everybody, at Lancer booth here, and it's actually a little more than Lancer, it's BO, uh, it's some other stuff. I'm gonna show you what's going on. Uh, there's a lot of cool stuff, so stay tuned on this one. But first, I wanna show you this. Check, Check this out, come on. This is the coolest thing. Yes, you see the shells, but heads up, these uh, 40 millimeter shells here are just for looks. That's not actually gonna fire those. What it is, is inside here, I don't know if you can even see. Yeah, you can see, there we go, right there. See those double barrels inside? This is HPA. <laughs> this is HPA. So you basically have a double barrel HPA machine gun uh, for airsoft. The shells, like I said, just for looks, because that would be like inefficient. Like the shells would give you such a limited range, it really wouldn't be effective. I love they went with the HPA. Just because of that, it makes this thing a terrorizing beast. If you want to use that just to just destroy people, that that can be fun. That's something a field should buy. I, I don't even know what the price is. I don't even want to know what the price is. I'm sure it's way more than I could ever dream of affording. But we're gonna be looking at some other stuff. They've got a new AK lineup coming. It's all under the Lancer line. Uh, you guys are familiar with uh, familiar with their forcers. They've got some new stuff. They got a new gold colorway. It's kind of like if you want to kind of go with them, a little more, a little more flashy, a little more fancy. Uh, if you ever wanted to see what's inside of a Lancer. This is, you know, their prototype, their, their uh, sorry, their Proline Gen 2 with the electronic trigger system built into it. You can see their gear sets. This will give you an idea. A lot of people maybe have a misconception of what is inside of a Lancer. You know, uh, this would be it. Then you've got their standard Gen 2 gearbox. This will give you an idea of what the gear sets look like. I think more importantly is take a look at your piston, your cylinder, look at your compression components here. The compression components are gonna be the biggest thing. And then back over here, they, they've got some pretty good, like, it, it's surprising. Like, look at the spring guide, right? I mean, like, this is some surprising stuff. Look at the ball bearing bushings, eight millimeters, right? So that's that's something interesting. A lot of people don't realize what's under the hood. Uh, more stuff over here, we're getting into like their enforcers and stuff. This is what I want to show you though. This is their Legion. This isn't a prototype stage right now. This is an HPA system, full. Takes the tank here in the back. You can even do the smaller tank with this stock internally regulated, it's a mechanical switch system. So we're looking at mechanical switch here, no batteries, nothing like that. You can just actually just rock and roll with it. It gives you like, a, not electro pneumatic, but a mechanical pneumatic system. So there's really nothing inside to do it. This is coming soon. I'm gonna probably get a hold of one of these once they come out to see what they're like. Uh, they're still fine tuning all the details, but it gives you pretty much a whole package for, you know, 470 bucks retail, uh, give or take. And that's kind of what we're looking at here. Just some different colors uh, and the like. Moving on, I'm gonna show you some stuff. You made, I mean, you've seen these, the Fab Arm shotguns. They've got, these are the Springer versions. Yeah, they're pretty affordable and all that, but they do have the green gas ones coming soon. As soon as they come, I will get you guys a review. But this is what I want to show you. Got the Mosin Nagant, right? They got the Mosin. They got an MP40 too. <laughs> That's pretty cool. So MP40, MP40, these are high end. This is from a BO manufacturer. Um, this is north of 500. This one, about 390, which costs the same as a real bosun, actually, pretty much. <laughs> but it's cool, wood stock, all the stuff, I mean, really neat stuff. And then finally, this is the coolest thing I've seen at the booth. I gotta tell you, new license, this one is coming from your Parm, new license on the Rhino. This is the Rhino Revolver. They have three different versions. Hey. They've got silver, black, right? And then these are their standard versions. They're gonna MSRP, the black one's gonna be around 150 MSRP. This is the air gun version. This is a 177 caliber. Airsoft version, 179, right? It's about 180 MSRP. You might be able to find it even less than that when it hits. Um, it is CO2 powered and it's gonna be compatible with the Dan Wesson system. It's made by Wind Gun. So it's gonna use the same shells and you guys know those Dan Wesson revolvers. They're really well done. Well, we're looking at the same internal workings on those. So you know you're getting something quality. Shells are interchangeable. So if you already have the Dan Wessons, you'll be able to use it or use those shells that are readily available everywhere, low and high power. But then you have this version here. This one's special. This is the Charging Rhino. What's special about this is the parts are still made by Wind Gun. And I'm gonna put this down real quick where it belongs. Bear with me, we're live. We're actually, Steve. You guys get to see Steve. Remember him from the podcast, like maybe eight, nine years ago? So this is different. So what's neat about this is the fact that the parts are made by Wind Gun in Taiwan, and then what they do, 
is they send the parts over to Italy, to Chiapa, which is the, the company that makes the real Rhino. This is the officially licensed. And then Chiapa is actually assembling these with their gunsmiths and including their fiber optic sites. So the front fiber optic site there, the rear fiber optic site, those are the real ones from the real Rhino. So this one's actually fully assembled by them and it's gonna be a limited release. Obviously no price on this one yet. It's going to be probably more, a lot more expensive, but it's the special edition. So they're gonna fit and finish this. And I think it's probably the first time we've ever seen a partnership and a license where there's a special version of the gun that the actual firearm company is gonna be assembling in a special edition, putting their magic touches on, and then actually selling it as an airsoft gun I think that's cool. It's gonna come in the actual original case with the original safety stuff and everything in there. It's gonna be a really neat experience. Uh, and knowing it's that wind gun system that everyone knows and loves, it's been proven for so long, the accuracy and the power, it makes me happy. So if you're not like wondering like, well, is it gonna be good, is it not? It's a great new license in the Airsoft and we're gonna finally see it. And I think a lot of people recognize the Rhino. So that's what's new <clears throat> at the Lancer booth. Steve's really loving it. He's already got it. Yep, there's someone. So anyway, stay tuned. I want to know what your favorite thing I, you saw here. Um, for me, it's going to be this one. Wait. See, you can't take this guy anywhere. I, I, it's HPA. If it wasn't HPA, what should it be? I mean, obviously, wait, maybe tag and shells? God, that'd be so expensive to run, though. So expensive. Uh, or the 40 millimeter stuff. Well, let me know. Let me know in the comment section below. Uh, all ears. Uh, more here coming from Chacho 2020. Stay tuned. And don't forget to hit subscribe so you get more updates real time.